Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to create and edit MIDI clips in Ableton Live 11. Since we're talking Ableton, chances are that MIDI clips will probably make up a good bit of your track's foundation. Whether you're just getting started or already creating music with Ableton, I hope to show you something that will improve your MIDI workflow. Let's get to it. In a default new live set, we're presented with two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. Let's go ahead and drag an instrument onto one of our MIDI tracks. I'm going to use one of Live's pre-built drum racks, but any instrument or VST will do. Once the instrument is loaded, we can double-click any of these empty clip slots to create a new clip. If you want to name the clip, you can right-click and then click Rename. The keyboard shortcut for this is Ctrl-R for Windows and Command-R for Mac. We also have our clip color options here with the right-click. Let's switch over to the Arrangement view and create a MIDI clip here. Click and drag to select an area of time for your clip. I'm going to create a two bar drum loop. Right click, then select Insert Empty MIDI Clip. The keyboard shortcut is Ctrl Shift M for Windows and Command Shift M for Mac. We should now see our blank MIDI clip and we can start editing. When you create a new clip, the clip view will automatically be open at the bottom of our window. If you lose it, simply double click back on the clip in either the arrangement or session view. Here on the left side of the clip view, we can set clip start stop points time signature, loop position, and length. I know I want to make a two bar drum loop, so I'm going to make sure that loop is enabled and then change the length to two bars. The rest of the clip view here is where the magic happens, starting with the first tab, the note sample tab. In this tab, we see our piano roll, which shows the names of all the samples on our drum rack. If we want to hear a sample, we can click this little headphone icon to monitor the sound as we click the piano keys. I'm going to start the loop by clicking the launch button on the clip and then put some notes into the piano roll under the clip view. Now that we have some notes, we can see what some of these modifiers to the left of the piano roll do. These first two on the top will shrink or stretch your notes in time to achieve a half time or double time feel. Reverse will flip the notes horizontally over the center of the clip, while invert flips them over so the high and low notes switch places. Legato will extend the MIDI note lengths to the beginning of the next played MIDI note. Duplicate does just that and copies the whole phrase. Notice that it's even increased our loop length to 4 bars. Randomize will apply random velocity values within the distance here on the right. If we set it to 127, the velocities will be completely random. If we set it to 1, then the velocities will still move randomly up or down, but only by a distance of 1. If we apply a velocity range to a note or group of notes, then the note velocities will be random within that given range. We can visually see this range displayed in the Velocity Editor. Let's have a look at the Envelopes tab. The Envelopes tab will let us draw in any automation for our clip. If you can change it, it can probably be automated. Let's start by adding some pitch modulation to this hi-hat. Use the first drop-down to select what device to control. In this example, it's the sample for our hi-hat. If the parameter that you're trying to control is in the VST, then the VST will usually be the option here. Under the second drop-down, we'll select the parameter that we want to control. Here it's going to be Transpose because I want it to be a noticeable pitch change. Click along the envelope in the editor to add points. Using just these simple lines, we can make pleasing modulation but Live has built-in shapes that you can insert by right-clicking. We can also add curves to these lines by holding Alt while clicking and dragging the line. Usually, you'll probably want the Linked Loop option on. Turning it off will allow you to have the envelope separate from your loop so that it can be longer or shorter than your loop. This third tab is the Expression tab. It's like the Envelopes tab, but for specific parameters that are only available to particular instruments and devices. We'll cover this in another video. That covers it for the basics of creating and editing MIDI tracks. You now have enough information to create a whole song from just MIDI. 
If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you learned something, go ahead and give the video a like. If you want to learn more, then subscribe so that you're notified when new videos come out. Now get out there and make some music.